What if you could turn raw footage into a workable rough cut in just a few minutes? Allow me to introduce you to Eddie. Eddie is an AI video editing assistant that integrates directly with Final Cut Pro, Resolve and Premiere Pro. You give Eddie footage, prompts or a script and it transcribes and logs takes, builds rough cuts, creates social clips and can export a timeline back into Final Cut Pro for finishing. This is not AI replacing you. It's doing the dull, repeatable stuff you don't want to do and it's kind of like ChatGPT for video editors. It's no wonder it won for AI innovation in CineD's Best of Show Awards for NAB. In this video, I'll show you how well it works with various types of edits and source footage. But first, let me show you a typical round trip workflow from Final Cut Pro to Eddie and back for interview footage and how Eddie helps you go from raw footage to rough cut really fast. When you open up the Eddie app, you can create a new project by clicking on this button or using the shortcut command N. And in this case, I have a corporate video. It's a bunch of interviews from different people, but it's more like a trade show. So I'm going to go with this option and I want to create an edit by prompting my transcripts like ChatGPT. Now we have a few options to import the interviews. We can import the raw files or we can add the footage from one of our editing apps or even Google Drive and Dropbox. Let's quickly hop over to Final Cut Pro so I can show you the source footage. I have everything inside this multicam clip, which is a bunch of different speakers. And there are a couple of benefits to having everything inside a multicam clip, which we'll touch on a bit later in the video. But for now, I just want you to see the raw footage we have in Final Cut Pro and how Eddie is going to treat it. I'll go ahead and turn this multicam toggle on and then I can simply grab this multicam clip from Final Cut Pro and bring it over into Eddie and then hit import. Depending on the duration of your source footage, this might take a couple of minutes, but you'll get notified when it's ready. Eddie has identified a bunch of different topics that were discussed in this video, and it's asking me to pick an edit type so it can get started. So let's go with rough cuts. So the first thing Eddie wants to know is how long would we like this video to be? And I think five minutes is good. Eddie then suggests a framework where we have an introduction, conflict, resolution, and conclusion. Each section has a target duration, and if there's anything you want to change to the structure, you can chat to Eddie using this text box, but for this example, I would say the framework looks good. Eddie then gives us the option between rapid camera switches or giving speakers enough time to fully express their points. So you could choose one of those two options or select that you'd like a mix of both. For this kind of video, I would go with option two, longer sound bites. And finally, Eddie wants to know if we want to enable precise duration mode. And Eddie explains that this mode will ensure that it's within 10% of the requested five minute target. So I'm going to choose yes, enable precise duration mode and let Eddie put together the rough cut. And Eddie has created the first draft of the introduction section of this edit. And let's play that back. Well, Washington DC is making decisions every day on regulations, on tax. For the introduction, we have the speaker saying this first part, and then we have this time code where we can see we have a second speaker, and then we have a third speaker. Now, you have some options. If you know there was a certain question asked in the interview, you can tell Eddie to include it. You can take one of these predefined prompts where this needs more work. Can you tell me more about what NVCA is? Or you want to see more available sound bites. So as you can see, you can keep iterating this together with Eddie AI. But let's assume this introduction looks good and we'll finalize the introduction section. Then Eddie will move on to the conflict part of the story and we'll repeat the process. And you can see we have three separate sound bites here for the conflict section. So I'll say this looks good and let Eddie work on the resolution part of the story. And we have four sound bites here for the resolution section of this edit. And I'll say that there are no changes needed to that and let Eddie work on the conclusion. And just reading through this, I don't think this is the strongest closing line. So I can say to Eddie, can you please find a stronger closing line? And now this line is a much stronger closing line for this conclusion. So I'll say this looks good. I approve. And Eddie will put all of these sections together into one edit that we can then send back to Final Cut Pro. You might be wondering why Eddie doesn't do the entire story in one go. And the reason is the quality of the output is so much better when you break the story up into sections. So here's the full edit, four minutes, 52 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and export that to Final Cut Pro. And then I can simply grab this little edit icon and just bring that over to Final Cut Pro, drop it in my event. And here's my edit. As you can see, Eddie has added captions to all of these titles and I can go ahead if I want to and select these and choose a subtitle preset. In this case, the baseline's adjusted. I'll just hit reset there. And now I have subtitles timed to the dialogue that match the style that I like. 
It's mind blowing to me how quickly Eddie helped me go from all that raw footage to a rough cut that I can now polish and be creative with. It would have taken me way longer to cut out all the unnecessary parts of the interviews and reorder the clips to build the story manually. Now, there are a few reasons why I love a multicam workflow and why I think you should try it out too, instead of just using normal raw clips on the timeline. And the fact that Eddie uses multicam clips makes all the difference in my workflow and allows me to work so much faster. One example of that is if you take a listen to this audio, you'll notice how noisy it is. Looking beyond Silicon Valley for new opportunities. The background noise is insane. So what I like to do in cases like this is process all my audio through Adobe Podcast. And I have a video all about that workflow if you'd like to check that out, because then I can add a new angle in my multicam clip. I'll label that audio and I'll bring in all this cleaned up audio onto that track. Let's zoom in here and have one more quick listen to a before and after. Looking beyond Silicon Valley for new opportunities. I'll mute the camera audio and I'll turn this audio on. Looking beyond Silicon Valley for new opportunities. And with that cleaned audio, I can go back to the timeline, select all of these clips and just switch my audio from the camera audio to my processed audio. Another thing I like to do is grade inside my multicam clips. Let's just assume I have this basic grade here. I can go ahead and copy this to all of the clips inside my multicam clip. Hit Command Shift V to paste attributes. And now my entire video is graded. Now you could argue that I could grade this clip and copy and paste the attributes here, which you could. But if I were to bring in any other parts of the multicam or make changes, I would then have to repeat that step the entire time. Whereas now I can just go into my multicam clip and make all my edits on the source level. You can try Eddie for free using the link down below if you want, but this is not all Eddie can do. Let me show you a few other quick before and after workflows. Maybe you're cleaning up a multicam podcast. You import your separate camera angles and Eddie will do its thing and output a full export of the interview as well as a short summary and some key topics. You can also prompt Eddie using some of these predefined prompts what you'd like it to do or you can say cut me a video on topic number seven. Eddie has output a transcript here of exactly what sections it's used to create that video on that topic. And using this dropdown, I can export that directly into Final Cut Pro or one of the other editing apps. For this example though, I'll just go ahead and export the full version because I want the full interview in Final Cut. And then I simply drag and drop this little icon over to my event in Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro will import that rough cut into the library. If I zoom in here, you can see that all of these subtitles were automatically added. But every time we switch from one speaker to the next, the angle changes as well. Like, where does appetite for learning and trying everything begin with? Yeah, thanks for that prompt. As you can imagine, with AI doing this kind of cleaning up, there will always be a few things you need to tweak, maybe trimming a few frames, there's an extra word or a breath or something like that that needs to be removed. It won't be perfect, but you can go from raw clips to 90% complete with your story in a matter of minutes. Maybe you want to create social media clips from a long form video that have speech in them. And instead of importing a file from my hard drive or from Final Cut Pro, this time I'll import something from YouTube. I'll grab the link for this video where I share 15 years of video editing advice in 14 minutes. And I'll paste that link here and click add video. I'll click import and Eddie will analyze this long form video and come up with a few options of short form clips that it can pull from this video. The cool thing is Eddie will let you know when the import's complete and you'll get a notification via email and a push notification in the app so you can do something else until it's ready. After analyzing the video, Eddie has identified those 12 topics and I can click on this button over here to create some short social edits. And down below, I can tell Eddie what I want to edit. I can say, create a social media edit for each of the topics please. And I ask nicely because I want to be in AI's good books if they take over the world someday. And Eddie creates 12 different edits which I can access using any of these links to download the XML file and I can preview them over here as well. Eddie works incredibly well for talking head YouTube videos because I can choose to edit a video to match my script or outline or I can clean up a video that I recorded with no script. For this example, I'll choose to edit a video with a script and then I can just paste my script down here in this box below and I'll turn multicam on. Then I'll head over to Final Cut Pro and I'll drag the multicam clip into Eddie and I'll hit the import button. It takes a few minutes to process, but then we have this edited story. 
and I can make use of this text editor, which is really nice. So I can cut portions out by just clicking on the scissor icon. And I can also just make a selection on the text and I can choose to delete that. It's also really easy to just grab these dots and move sections around in the edit to rearrange my story if I need to. I can also choose to hide the cuts, which shows me the final edited story. And then I can go ahead and export this and send it to Final Cut Pro. I have the option to mark all selected clips as favorites. I don't need to in this case, and I'll just hit save and export. I'll grab this edit icon and bring it over into my library. I can ignore this warning and I'll just open up the project. And just like that, I have my rough cut that I can then go add my screen recordings and B-roll to as needed. There is even a feedback mode where you can import a video clip and Eddie will give you constructive criticism on your video. I'll bring in my trending text outline effect, my most recent video, and import that for analysis. Now, Eddie does a few things here, which is really cool. It gives you a suggested title, as well as suggested thumbnail options. It also includes a YouTube description and chapter notes, but the best part here is where it gets into its notes and suggestions. Eddie gives some really actionable tips here, like this one, where it suggests that the hook could be sharper. And you can pause here if you'd like to read those notes and compare them to that video. You can also log your B-roll by importing your clips into Eddie and letting Eddie analyze those clips. And once it's done, you can click the export button and select Final Cut Pro, give it a few seconds, and then drag this edit icon over to your event. And what's incredible here is it's given each clip a name with a description. And bear in mind, I gave it no context of where this footage was shot. And it knows that this is the Dom Luis Bridge in Porto. And if I click over to the keywords here and I go to Porto City Hall, all of these shots are of the Porto City Hall. And this is great because if I'm looking for a shot of the Doru River, I can search for that and find clips that have the river in them. All of these modes in Eddie help you save time on repetitive tasks. So you can spend more time on things like sound design, color grading, crafting the story, the things that actually require your brain. And I think it's important for me to also manage expectations here. Eddie is great at speed and structure. It's not going to replace a human's taste for pacing, musicality, nuanced storytelling, and things like that. It's not going to magically spit out a complete edit that you can just slap a music track on and export for your client. It's not what it does. It's not what it was designed to do. But you can use it to massively accelerate the grunt work, to save you time, and then you take over in your editing app of choice to craft the final piece. Eddie is obviously a paid app, but there is a free tier that I think everyone should try out, and I'll tell you why. The free tier is limited to just one export, so it means you're able to test it out and test the round tripping feature, but you can test it and use it to create an unlimited number of rough cuts in the app. You just can't export them all, but what it allows you to do is test it on your YouTube videos, test it on your client podcast edits, test it on your interview or documentary footage, log some B-roll with it, and see if it's something that will enhance your workflow. I know it's already making a huge difference to my workflow. Fun fact, I used Eddie to do the rough cut for this video you're watching right now and it saved me a ton of time. So go ahead and give it a try using the link down below and if you use the code down below as well you can also get 20% off. If you enjoy finding new ways to speed up your editing workflow like I do then you're going to love this video of workflow hacks for Final Cut Pro so definitely go ahead and watch that next and until next time happy editing.